Intimate you, this is Tracy. Intimate you, this is Tracy. Intimate you, intimate you, intimate you, this is Tracy. Hello, my name is Tracy Lackey. I am the owner of Intimate You. My late husband, Rick Lackey, and I opened Intimate You almost eight years ago. Lexington, Virginia is a small town, but it's a college town. There are four colleges right here in the immediate area. Immediate area. We thought about it years ago and thought, why is it there a place to get your bras and panties? Um, there are always weddings uh, going on in this area because it's such a beautiful area. So why isn't there a place to get something special for your wedding night or any night, um, as it may be? Uh, they talked about it a lot. They uh, were afraid that it was going to be a more adult store. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But we decided at that time that we would make it like an old-fashioned lingerie store. I mentioned my late husband, Rick. After he passed away five years ago, I decided I needed something else to do than somebody else to take care of. So we opened Let's Make Up, which is or was a cosmetic and skincare boutique. I tell everybody I quit taking my uh, happy pills and decided to get my brain straight. So we brought everything under one roof. We have a small staff. There's me, which they give me all the dirty jobs. And then there's um, Emily Brown. She's been with us about two years now. And she does the bra fittings. She does the makeup consultation. I don't know how else to say it. My boobs look horrible. They're you know, falling out and all over the place. And I was terrified, completely terrified. I even, she even had Tracy, you know, work after hours so no one else would be in here. That's how embarrassed I was. And <laughs> we went back to the dressing room and uh, Tracy came in and she's like, okay, take your clothes off, take your shirt off, <laughs> take your bra off. And I'm like, can't you step out for like a second while I, you know, undress myself? And she was cool about it, you know, I was terrified, but... I got over it quick, I guess, and now working with boobies every day. <laughs> our customer base is a wide range, so we have to make sure that our store kind of covers pretty much everybody. The young girls getting their first bras, the college students. I mean, we've had 70 and 80 year old women who are getting married or just, you know, pretend like they're just getting married on Wakol, on Panache. Um, Anita, which we love, pajamas from Pinecone Hill, Anita Lane, Glamour Mom, nursing camis, because Lexington being a small town, an educated town, it's also a very fertile town, and so we have lots and lots of babies. We get sexy lingerie from Shirley of Hollywood, hanky pankies, we have hanky pankies, the girls, no matter what age group, they love the hanky panky. Um, in our cosmetics and skin care, Bare Minerals and Smashbox. We've been very fortunate with the uh, college girls. Sororities have actually come in and made it a shopping night at Intimate Use specifically. Oh, we have for Valentine's, um, because everybody doesn't have a Valentine, we um, do uh, Love Your Lips. Tonight we're having a bridal shower hosted right here in the store. Um, which should create a little bit of a fever for everyone in attendance to want to get a little something special. Oh, there are days when I have to hide at my desk. And it's not so much to be um, away from our customers, but I literally have to sometimes say to Emily or whoever's working with me that day that pretend like I'm not here. Uh, they want to come in and spend several hours just chit-chatting or um, telling me about all their problems. And I don't think they understand that actually being in a lingerie store and playing and makeup and um, picking out all these things is actually work. Uh, the red bra back there. And so the biggest bra that they had in the catalog, I thought that would be so funny because my sense of humor is kind of silly anyway. I thought, wouldn't it be hilarious to have a huge bra in the window? Um, at first I thought about tying it to the front bumper of my car. And if you're going to do a big bra, it has to be red. It's not. I had even envisioned at the beginning putting uh, like chips and dip in the cups because I thought it was funny and um, now, of course, we don't make fun of it because that's really serving the need for some people. We have some really interesting requests from customers. I really want um, a bra here, but I went to uh, a discount store, and I'd like to pay the prices that they're asking there, but she wanted the bra here. So I explained to her how offensive that was, and to ask her if um, 
any of the sales uh, representatives there had gone into the fitting room with her and fitted her with the bra like I had. No, they hadn't. Did they give her the service, the special ordering, and, and all that that we do? No, they don't. And then I helped her to understand that that's why I could not charge her a discounted rate because she wasn't getting discounted service. But of course, I didn't say it quite so nicely then. <laughs>